Oh, you know what I want to try, actually, now that we're here? <gasps> hey guys, how's it going? I hope you're having a super awesome day. I'm really excited to be jumping back into my hardcore series, the second one. The first one was a limited series. <laughs> I didn't last too long, but I have high hopes for this second series and I'm very excited about it. This is episode two. You guys gave me a lot of amazing tips in the comment box below and I'm very excited because you guys gave me some really good tips and I have a lot of amazing plans for which direction to go with this series. So that's gonna be so if you guys are enjoying this series so far, then make sure you super slap that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up and the bell so that you don't miss any future videos. Also guys, I am going to be live streaming on Twitch two times a week. So if you haven't gone and followed me there and you are interested in watching me do live streams, make sure that you go and follow me. <laughs> also, I have a second channel where I'll be uploading my live streams too, uh, which I'll put on the screen as well as in the description box below. So that you guys can go follow that as well, just in case you're not really into watching the streams live or you missed one. And before we begin, I would also like to give a shout out to Zero Deaths is what they are called on Discord. And they made this beautiful fan art and I absolutely love it. I think it's so cute. If anybody else wants their fan art to be featured in the video, you can join my Discord where there is a fan art channel and you can add your fan art there or you can tweet me your fan art, whatever you prefer, and it can get featured in a video. All right, let's... Get into the video. In the last episode, we found a lot of stuff, okay? This this seed is quite impressive. We found like three villages. We found a couple temples, which we have to go check out that other temple because my pockets were so full that I wasn't even able to check that other temple. So we'll definitely be doing that today. Another thing that we need to do is name our horse. And I got so many amazing suggestions. I had made a comment in the last episode that I kept wanting to call it Jurgen because I've been watching a lot of PewDiePie lately. And so a couple people suggested I call it Pewds, which I really liked and then someone else suggested that I call it Felix McPewds which I thought was funny because I kept calling it horse someone else also commented saying that I should call it horse so I kind of want to call it Felix Horse McPewds. I think that's a great name. <laughs> and you know, I think I'm gonna switch it up. I might sometimes call him Felix. I might sometimes call him Pewds. And sometimes I'll call him Horse. We're actually gonna leave Felix here for a little bit. And we are going to head to the Mushroom Island because that's where we're gonna set up base. A lot of people in the comments were saying that mobs don't spawn on Mushroom Islands. And I did not know that. So I'm super, super, super excited because that. That makes this hardcore series a lot easier because it's dangerous in hardcore. Oh, yes. Okay, so let's go. <laughs> okay, why is this not moving? Oh, because I put it on the path. Okay, I really want to steal this villager because he's fortune three. Oh yeah, I should probably make sure. Yeah, he is. Watch, I'll go like this. Oh, he went inside. Dart. Um, excuse me, sir. I'd like to buy something. Come this way. Come on, walk this way. Perfect. You're so smart. Thank you. Okay, so we are going to go find that Mushroom Island. We're going to set up base. We've also stolen our villager. And I think this is a great villager to start with. We'll just have to grab another one later, which I think we can do from the village that's a bit closer. We will have to return to this village a bit later to pick up Felix, of course. <laughs> but I think for now, we are just going to steal this one villager. We're going to leave him in a boat. Even if he got attacked by a drowned, making it into a zombie villager, then we could just heal him. And then we get Fortune 3 for super duper cheap. And that would be amazing. <laughs> Are these ruins? You know what? I'm gonna leave the villager here so he's not in danger. Okay, wait, there's a guy with a trident, I think. Maybe not. Oh, and I also don't have any room. Okay, you know what? Let me just quickly take a quick picture of these coordinates and then we're gonna head out because I don't have enough space in my pockets anyway to grab all of the stuff in there. So we're gonna come back <laughs> at another date. Oh, another thing I was thinking about. Oh, oh, look, there's a swamp, yay. Okay, we haven't found a swamp yet. So that's super exciting. Now we know where a swamp is. As soon as I found out that mobs couldn't spawn on Mushroom Islands, I was like, wow, that's interesting. So I looked it up and then I found out that Mushroom Islands, the mycelium, is that how you say it? I'm not really sure. You're not able to plant anything on it. So we're gonna have to kind of build like an island that's like right near the M Mushroom Island, but far enough away that it doesn't become mycelium or whatever it's called, so that we'll be able to still grow stuff. I'm thinking we'll have to get a bunch of saplings from all the different biomes. <gasps> 
there is a water thingy. Uh oh, it's getting dark. Oh my gosh, okay. I just had a moment where I forgot I was in hardcore and I need to be careful. We need to be really, 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 really fast and sleep. Really excited to be doing this on the Mushroom Island. I was like, oh, there's not really any resources on the Mushroom Island. I don't know if it's the smartest thing to do. And then when you guys were like, mobs don't spawn, I was like, yep, that is the place I am going to call home. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'm going to go grab a sapling from these trees because I think I have space. Yeah, I have one little slot. There's also some ruins, which I want to go to, but I don't have space, so I need to just wait. There's ruins literally everywhere. There's boats everywhere like this. This spawn has completely blown my mind. I can't even believe it. It's crazy. If we see any mobs, like say we are mining and we see mobs while we're on the Mushroom Island, it's very likely that there is a mob spawner because mob spawners still work. Okay, we have three. That's enough. Let's go. Come on, villager. Do you guys want to name my villager? There it is. Look, look, villager. It's home. Let's go home to our Mushroom Island. Oh, there's also a thingy down there. Good to know, good to know. This spawn, man, this spawn. Oh, and also guys, I was thinking, a lot of you were asking for seed, and I'm definitely down to give you guys the seed. I just think that I wanna wait a little bit until I've been in the world for, uh, for a while because I don't want people to go and find things and then tell me about them and tell me the coordinates because I think that just takes away like the fun of finding it myself. So I will give the seed, just not yet. So you guys will have to, you know, hit the subscribe button, hit the like, hit the bell so that you don't miss the video where I finally give out the seed. <laughs> I think it's time to kind of pick where we want our house to be built and whatnot. Okay, villager, you stay there. I'll be back. Oh, remember this waterfall? Maybe I should build like my house near here somewhere. See how there's like a hole, like it goes into a cave. We could even make the waterfall bigger and have it look like it's coming out of there. We can add vines and 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 like it's things are growing. Oh my gosh, that'd be so cool. Okay, I think this is the spot. I'm just gonna grab my villager and bring him over so I can keep a good eye on him. And then we need to plant these trees. I'm noticing there's a couple of patches of grass. So I'm guessing I can probably plant the trees on those little patches. And then eventually we should build a tree farm area where we can just grow trees on like a separate island and make sure it's really well lit. Oh my gosh, you guys also told me that I can milk the mushrooms and get like just mushroom stew which I think is awesome. Also, I guess if I use shears, I could get the mushrooms. Like, honestly, last episode, I feel like I learned so much. It took me back to like my first Minecraft Let's Play where everyone was just teaching me how to play. Apparently, if you shear the cow though, it becomes a regular cow. I'm really hoping this villager doesn't die or like despawn or anything like that. That would really suck. But he's in a boat. He shouldn't, right? We're gonna leave him there. And then I'm gonna run over here and I'm gonna just plant some trees and hope that they grow. I'm gonna make Make a chest and put all of this stuff into it and then we will be able to go on a little adventure and have room in our pockets. So. Before we continue, I just want to thank this video sponsor, ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN is the number one virtual private network service that creates a safe and reliable connection between your device and the internet. It does this by encrypting your personal data that could easily be accessible to anyone without that added security. Being a YouTuber and playing video games online has made me realize just how important it is to protect myself and my personal information. So my favorite thing about ExpressVPN is that you can watch movies from all over the world. Because I live in Canada, I don't have access to a lot of TV shows from the United States or the UK or Australia. And with ExpressVPN, I can just switch to any country that I want and watch whatever shows that I want. And that's super exciting. It just gives me a lot more options. It's super easy too. Like you can just do it on your phone. You pick which country you want to connect to and that's it. It's super easy. <laughs> ExpressVPN also has the fastest speeds out there, 24 seven customer service, server locations from over 90 countries and all under $9 a month, plus a 30 day money back guarantee. And the most exciting part is that ExpressVPN has given you guys three months free if you use my link. My link is expressvpn.com forward slash supermagregs. The link will also be down in the description. I've been using this service for a little while now and I definitely recommend it and I think you guys will really enjoy it. All right, let's now get back to the video. I hope you guys enjoy. And also guys, I went on and I kind of made a copy of this world so that I could jump on and just quickly take a screenshot 
screenshot for my thumbnail and I found another village right near that temple. I thought we'd go check out that village today as well. I feel kind of bad that I found it while taking screenshots. I didn't mean to. <gasps> There's a boat. Oh, this is the one I already went into last episode. I need to collect resources. This is like the most important thing. I need to get seeds. I need to get different types of saplings so that I can build. There's some ruins underneath me and I really want to check them out. Should I? So tempting. There's a lot. Oh, I just, I'm too, I'm too afraid guys. I don't want to die yet. I'm not ready. We'll do it another time. Oh, another thing that we're going to have to do is we're going to have to steal animals. Like this pig, I could like put it on the back of my boat and bring it with me because we're going to need to go and get like fetch all those things and then bring it to the mushroom island. <gasps> yes. Okay. We got some seeds. I need more. I need, yes. Thank you. Give me more. Uh, I kind of need some food. No, I'm good for food. I'll let you live. <laughs> Oh, there, I think this is where the village is. Yeah, right over there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, maybe I'll stop in this village, kind of check things out, see if there's any resources for me. Maybe this is the perfect spot to come to like collect animals because there's a little bit of everything here, which is great. I'm totally stealing this out of here. I'm so sorry about taking your job, but I'm gonna. Should we steal the second villager today? And then we'll have two? Is that a little, am I jumping the gun there? Maybe. <gasps> Don't steal them. They're mine. Oh, okay. Beetroots. Good. Oh, carrots. Okay. We have carrots. We have potatoes. We have beetroot seeds. I could take this because I feel like I'm going to make my own little village with my own villagers anyway. So they don't need all that stuff. I, I, I need it. Excuse me, sir. I think you can hit space or something. Oh yeah. There we go. 14 emeralds. I think we have all of the vegetables and stuff that we need. Oh, we should grab some oak saplings. In this boat last episode, we left some stuff. I'm hoping that we have enough time to kind of explore the Mushroom Island today and then maybe even do like a little bit of mining, but it kind of depends. I don't know, what are poisonous potatoes used for? I have no idea. What was that tree that I cut down over here? Yes, okay. That is looking like a lot of saplings. I'm trying to think, what other things do we need? Ooh, let's grab some saplings from the birch trees as well. I wanna try to get as many types of trees as we can. I didn't see a dark oak forest, so I don't think we're gonna be able to get dark oak at all. Oh, also, if you guys are wondering why the, the leaves are yellow, it's because I use the Better Leaves resource pack. So if you guys are interested in that, I can, I can link it down below. Also, with this series, I'm definitely going to uh, show you guys all my builds using some shaders, just because I think it's really nice to show s with shaders. Like, you can just really see how beautiful everything looks with shaders, but I don't like playing with shaders because I feel like they're a bit intense. Gosh, I feel like my pockets are going to be so full soon that maybe I should run back to the Mushroom Island and drop these things off. <gasps> There's a boat. Ah, oh, okay, I don't have space. I don't have space. I can't wait for bundles, cause then I'll have space. <laughs> oh, I should have brought an animal with me. That would have been so smart. Oh, well, <laughs> let's put everything away. We could probably plant the saplings. See, there's an island right there. So maybe we can get animals from there and it would be a lot closer. Hopefully these things grow, we shall see. Okay, and then we're gonna sleep. We're gonna sleep real quick. I know, I technically mobs can't spawn here, but it still scares me. <laughs> I'm I, I'm still a little bit, like I'm having flashbacks. Like I'm constantly like, is there a creeper behind me? You know, I'm like so jumpy. So we're heading to the temple and we're gonna see what's in there and I'm excited. <laughs> so if you plant mushrooms on the mycelium and then you bone meal it, will it grow into a giant mushroom? Okay, there's fishies. So fishies can still spawn nearby, which is good. Oh! <gasps> Did you hear that? There was a guy with a trident. I'm so afraid with guys with tridents. They do so much damage. So we just have to kind of keep going this way. Follow the coast and then we'll get to the temples. One of the temples I already explored in the last episode, if you guys saw it. If you didn't, you should definitely go watch it. And then the other one is kind of just a little bit further ahead, which is crazy. They were so close together, I couldn't even believe it. If I expand the island, like where the grass is, if I kind of just expand out, will that cause things to start spawning on the grass bits? Probably. 
Okay, so we already went in that one, but I didn't grab everything. Maybe I should go back down. And we don't even have to worry because I already took out the TNT. So this one is safe. Loyalty too. Okay, I'll, I'll take that. I don't really think I need horse armor, like two horse armors. Now we can just go around to the other one. I know this is so silly and it's a little bit like just decorative, but I am gonna steal some of these. These are like really cute for decorations. We have to be extra careful going into this temple because this one still has all the TNT. I'm not ready to die. We're good, we're good. I'm gonna take the TNT again, just like Dream. Another apple, yay! Some iron, oh my gosh. Emerald, yes! Okay, we got some good stuff. Now, we're gonna go to that village that I found, which I'm pretty sure it was kind of this way. <gasps> yeah, see right there, oh my gosh! All right, let's explore, see what they've got. I'm taking all the wheat. Yes. Ugh. Yes! Okay, let me uh, steal some more of your wheat so I can make more money. I just wanna be rich. We already have so many emeralds. How many do we have? 32! Whoa. <laughs> oh, a blacksmith. Yes, please. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Okay, I think we've explored everything. Okay, maybe what we'll do is we'll go pick up Felix. Another thing that's great is we're gonna be so close to all these deserts that we'll be able to get a villager who trades glass panes and we'll be rich, like extra super duper rich. I hope I'm going the right way. I didn't even get the coordinates. Felix, don't worry, we will find you. I feel weird calling my horse Felix to be honest. <gasps> a pumpkin! Wow, that's so random. Why is there a pumpkin right here? I'm pretty sure it's this way. All I did was I followed the coast the whole entire episode last episode. So I'm pretty confident I can find my way back. It's funny because my sense of direction in Minecraft is way better than my sense of direction in real life. It's strange. Okay, wait, this is the other village that I went to last episode. Okay, so we're getting there, we're getting close. So there should be like a really big boat somewhere over here. <gasps> yeah, see? I can't remember which direction the village was in now. I want to go to this boat though. It's like sitting at the top of the water. Hopefully there is a doorway here somewhere maybe. Yes. Ah! No! I have too much stuff! <gasps> Bamboo! That's good to have. Where else? I think maybe in here? Is it? Yeah, okay. So let's break this. We can even just stay above water. Like, I love it when boats are like this. Glad I checked out this boat. It was worth it. Okay, I guess we're gonna jump out. Is there anything I can get rid of? Okay, we're just gonna go without the boat and we'll make another one. Oh God, I don't know. Oh, there it is, okay. Whew. I was worried for a sec. Hi, Felix, hi. I feel so weird calling him Felix. I might just call him Pewds. I kind of like that better. Uh, how can I do this? Okay, put him right there and then place the boat. Go on, get in. Don't horses go in boats? What are you doing? Why are you trying to run away from me? Okay, shoot, I thought horses could go in boats. I guess maybe that's just a bedrock thing. So darn, I might have to leave Felix here and come back and get him once I've murdered a traitor. Okay, I guess I'll steal some stuff from them. Maybe I'll steal a sheep then, or another villager. Oh my gosh, I can't decide. Okay, let me at least go grab the boat. I'm so sorry, Felix, I promise. We're coming back for you and the villagers will take good care of you, okay? Okay, okay? Mwah. I could steal this villager right now. It'd be so easy. Okay, I guess we're stealing a villager. <laughs> All right, villager, let's go. I can't believe this. We already have villagers and it's only the second episode. I'm super duper excited. Okay, now we're gonna go back to the Mushroom Island and we are gonna explore it a little bit. I'm thinking I wanna do a little bit of mining. I'm excited to go mining and not have to like worry as much about mobs. Oh, <gasps> shoot. I forgot about going past this again. I need vines. I need them. They can make things look so much nicer. What am I going to get rid of to make space? If I get hungry, I can eat this cooked pork chop. Also, they have my most favorite flowers, the blue ones. Oh, I'm like terrified. Is there a creeper? 
I also really want to grab these, but I'm not going to because I know that it's just for decoration and it's not necessary. <laughs> oh. There's... Okay, no. I don't have enough space. Oh my gosh. I keep wanting to go and check everything out, but I have no space. I do think that it was meant to be that I died in my last series because otherwise this seed, we would never would have found it. Look at that. That's really close. Let's not get too close because I don't want to get mining fatigue, but that's good to know that that's there because eventually we can come back to it. Yay! Okay, we're almost home. And our villagers are going to meet, I guess, because they were from two different villages, so they're gonna meet. No, they weren't actually. They were from the same village? Yeah! Okay, so they're gonna re-meet each other and they're going to fall in love and make babies eventually once I build them a place to live. Look, there he is. Oh, I wonder if I can plant this just to like start collecting vines there. Let's see if it's, if it grows. <laughs> oh, you know what I want to try actually now that we're here? Let's see, let's see. Oh my gosh. I've never seen that before. Oh, he just nodded at me. Did you see that? <laughs> okay, now that we're here, hopefully these trees, these saplings will start growing. And if not, we're gonna have to build an area where the saplings will be able to grow. Let's go get some mushroom steel. <laughs> okay, wait, what? <gasps> you only need to have one bowl and it does all this? Wow, you get free bowls. That seems so strange that it just gives you free bowls but okay, <laughs> I'll take it. Let's explore our island. <laughs> I wanna find a cave to explore. I'm like ready. I'm ready to explore a safe cave. Okay, that's full of water. Let's go this way. They're all full of water. There better be some good caves. I'm so excited. Look at it. Oh my gosh, it's a big mushroom. Hi, did you know that you're mm. cute? How do you breed them? Is it the same? I didn't even think to try that. I don't have any wheat on me now, but it's so weird to me to think that there's an area that where mobs just like won't spawn. Okay, there's a there's a tunnel. Let's check it out. Okay. <gasps> Shoot. I did not mean to fall. I'm scared. Okay, they Okay, so far no mobs. There's bats. I did read. <gasps> wow, that's a lot of iron. Wow. Okay, wow. There's no mobs, you guys. Oh, <laughs> what? This is so cool. I can't believe there's no mobs anywhere. Okay, it also comes out here, which is interesting. I can't believe this. This is so trippy that there's just no mobs anywhere. Okay, maybe what we'll do is we'll collect a ton of iron because iron, even if you have fortune, iron does not get affected by that. You don't get more iron if you have fortune. So I'm thinking, uh, I'm gonna need some- <gasps> If I get a bunch of iron, then I'll be able to make an anvil, and then I'll be able to- to add the fortune, and then whenever I do find diamonds, I'll be able to use a fortune pickaxe. Since we have the fortune 3 guy anyway, I'm going to put fortune 3 on a iron pickaxe, because I don't have diamonds yet, and I'd rather be able to mine any diamonds that I get with fortune. So I'm going to put it on an iron pickaxe, and then eventually we'll be able to put it on a diamond pickaxe, because we have the villager here, as long as he doesn't die, which I'd be very sad if he did. I'm like still so, so scared that that us creepers just gonna like show up behind me or something. I hope that we're able to find a mob spawner though. I'm a little bit nervous that like since mobs don't spawn here, maybe they're like less likely. So while this is doing its thing, I'm gonna take this water. And we'll go check out what's over here. It seems so odd to not see any mobs. Like I feel weird about it. One of the comments that I read was that I should just like collect resources and then leave here, but I feel like why would I even bother? Because I can just stay here and be super safe for my whole entire series. And we can still go explore, go adventure, go check things out. But while I'm here, I can explore all these caves without even having the risk of a creeper. Sounds like a plan to me. Oof, that was a lot of iron, but it was worth it. Yay. Okay, now we have an anvil. How exciting. <laughs> oh, another thing that's gonna be kind of hard though is finding caves because I usually just follow the sounds of mobs to find caves. So that's gonna be 
a little bit difficult. But if we ever hear any mobs in these caves, we'll know that there's a spawner. <gasps> oh, and look, we're right near the coral right here. Oh my gosh, I love that. <laughs> oh, there's a boat. Wait, right there. Oh, I kind of want to go explore it. Let's make a new iron pickaxe and we are going to put fortune three on it. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so exciting. Okay, I think I'm gonna go check out this ship. I'm guessing it's far enough away that mobs are gonna spawn, so I'm gonna be extra careful. Oh, look, tropical fishies. Oh my gosh, I love that. Imagine after all this, I just drown. That's how the series ends. Oh my God, that'd be the worst. Mm. That's all I'm taking from that. Oh, wow. Did I get this one already? Yes. Okay, you know what? I don't wanna push my luck. I'm scared. It's getting dark. Where's my boat? No, I didn't bring a boat. Oh, shoot. That was a mistake. It's okay. We'll be fine. Oh, the tree grew! My villagers are still chilling in the boats, which is great. Oh, that one grew as well! Yay! Okay, I'm so excited. This is such an ex... I just couldn't find words. Okay, I think we have a lot to do next episode. I think next episode, we are going to have to get villagers somehow in an area. I don't really know, maybe build them a house. I'm gonna have to spend a little bit of time here just like growing things. Cause that's something that's gonna be kind of tough is like getting enough resources. We're gonna have to do a lot of farming. So I think next episode is going to be pretty much focused on getting a farm started. I'm going to need to collect a bunch of dirt. I think I might do that a little bit behind the scenes cause all it's gonna be is me collecting dirt and that's kind of boring. I'm thinking we just create like an island close by and that will be my farm. If you guys have a better idea, let me know. Um, I might kill a cow because I kind of want to see what happens. I feel bad, but I think I'm just going to do it. Okay. They didn't drop leather at all. Well, he didn't. Okay. I'm going to just, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. They do. Okay. So they drop the same stuff. That's interesting. If you guys have any tips or tricks on what I should be doing in the next episode, please, please, please let me know. I absolutely love learning from you guys. And if you guys are enjoying the series, then please make sure you super slap that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up and the bell so that you don't miss any future videos. Also here are all my social medias. Please go follow me on my social media. If you guys want to chat with me or tweet me, those are the areas where you'll have the most chance like, on YouTube. It's hard. I get a lot of comments. It's hard to answer all of them, but on on these social medias, I have less of a following, so you'll have a better chance of being able to chit chat with me. So definitely go check out all of my social medias. I also wanna mention, I do have a PO box. If you guys wanna send just letters, I don't want gifts. I can open in videos. I actually have one thing that I received already. I'm, I'm not gonna say, uh, it's by, it's from Jilly Ann. So thank you so much. I'm not gonna open it this episode. I think maybe in a future episode, I'm gonna open it. But if you guys want to have your mail be featured, then, uh, uh, make sure you send it to this PO box. Um, also, I want to give a shout out to my super supporters. You guys are really amazing. I appreciate you very much. Uh, if you guys want to find out how to become a super supporter and the perks that come along with it, like a Minecraft server, which Twitch subscribers also get, as well as, you know, custom emojis and things like that, then hit that join button below the video. Also, if you guys want to know how to get three months off of ExpressVPN, the link is down below. You have to make sure that you do expressvpn.com forward slash super McGregs if you want to get three three months free. So make sure you go and check that out as well. Plus it supports the channel a little bit as well. Uh, if you end up deciding to get it using my link, which is very much appreciated. <laughs> All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.